into the conversation about Pitchfork, but a unique part of it now, I think, with Sam in Liverpool. Sam, uh, what are you going to tell us? Good morning. Hello, yes. Uh, I was up in HMP Lay Hill with you last Tuesday. Uh, he's, he's been given a new name. Right, well, don't uh, share that with us, whatever yeah, you do. I thank, thank you. He's, so so you, you, uh, you, just to clarify, Sam, you were with him up to last week, did you say? No, I was up there with him until last week. I got released oh, yeah, last until, Tuesday. So you saw him as recently as last week? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Uh, tell he, me about the man. He's an arrogant, most arrogant prisoner I've ever come across, and I've done four years. In he's, what way does that arrogant... Explain in the fashion... In what way is he arrogant, Sam? A, a way he talks down to prisoners, other prisoners. He looks... A way he walks around, looking down at everyone, speaking... He's, He's intelligent and a way he puts prisoners down. I grew up on a council estate and a way he speaks to you is sort of like you want to do something, but he's got that much protection and you can't touch him. When you say protection, who provides protection for him? That's, if you say, if you call him a horrible person, he will run straight and directly to the staff and you'll be either shipped out or put on basic. What do other prisoners, broadly speaking, what would other prisoners say about Pitchfork, Sam? Uh, he's, he's arrogant, he's horrible, he's just one of them. And you can tell he's still got that look of his eyes. He's, he, he switches quick. Did he he's express got, any view about the fact that he's going to be free? Did he make any comments about that? No, nothing. He wouldn't. He kept his business to himself, but he used... When he got his parole, he was sort of walking around with a bigger smile on his face than he ever had. Have there ever been any assaults on him, to your knowledge? Uh, I'm sure I heard that he was assaulted in HMP Franklin, and he had a massive stroke about five, six years ago, and lost the use of his left arm. His left, his incapacitated with his left arm, is he, to your knowledge? Up until recently, but uh, he, he goes to the gym and everything and uh, he's, someone robbed his ID card uh, when you go to the gym you have to put your ID card in so they know who's there and one of the gym orderlies took the ID card so he di he's the only prisoner that didn't have to hand his ID card in Oh I see. Um, would you want him living next door to your daughter or your niece? I got locked up for doing him in. You'd, you'd get locked up for doing him in? Yeah. Do you think he still presents a danger as some campaigners are saying? Yes, definitely, 100%. What informs you of that? Why do you say that, uh, Sam? Because I've seen him flip and look, go from 0 to 100 like that over in seconds just by arguing. His... When he don't get his own way, like argument, he will use all his sort of knowledge and persuasion and his skills he's learned to manipulate the situation. To his, his best disability. Have you seen him be violent? Not violent, but verbally aggressive, yeah. What sort of things rile him? What sort of things annoy him, Sam? When women staff are give, basically telling him no. How would you describe his manner or way around female staff? Uh, he would seek out women on their own more than male staff. How long were you in the same jail as this man? 18 months. Is there any shred of humanity to him? Does he have a sense of humour? Does he, I don't know, help younger prisoners? Does he do anything? No, nothing. He goes to the gym and he uses outside... Uh, they've got outside gym equipment bolted to the floor and he uses that a lot. Otherwise, he's just walking around talk, talking to other horrible prisoners. And, of course, he enjoys day release, doesn't he, a number of times? Uh, uh, I heard from a from a prison officer that he went on a, a day release to Gloucester or Bristol and he bought a woman some chocolate right. and said his family died. Oh dear. I've got to, I'm, I'm very grateful for your time. I do have to ask you, you, you don't have to answer, but what were you in for? Possession of Class A with intense to supply. Mm. You're going to try and knock that on the head now, Sam? Yeah, it was just uh, uh, the situation I was in. I grew up and... It was expected of me to follow on mate uh, examples. Yeah. He never talked about his crime, did he, Pitchfork? No. Never expressed it? It was, a, it was a sort of 
joke, I remind even with a staff that his son was the youngest Cody in criminal history. And he even used to laugh about it. Did he have any visitors? Uh, apart from, you know, these, uh, chari- these yes, yeah, charities. Yes, yeah, prison charities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them, a lady used to come and see him. Uh, lastly, he'll wear an electronic tag, take lie detector tests, live under a nighttime curfew. What? what will that... then, see them lie detector tests for sex offenders. If you're on certain medication, which after a stroke he would be on, like blood thinners and, that, and blood pressure tablets, they can't uh, put you on a lie detector because it comes back uh, a decision and they can't rely on it. Good luck, Sam. Now you're out. Don't go back the wrong side of the law, and I'm very grateful for your input. Sam, thank you. As in Manchester's prison, Lay Hill with Pitchfork for eight. Yeah, yeah. A very quiet, quiet individual, if I'm really honest. I just, I'm calling in. I'm a first time caller. Good man. But I just, I think this isn't the kind of thing you can rehabilitate, if I'm really honest. Um, and I've seen, you know, I did 12 years as a prison officer. Um, it's. <laughs> It frustrates me at the fact that they think that this this person can be let out. A lot of people have said it already. You know, he's not going to be safe around young girls. Young, you know, it's not something you can take out of him. It's in him. No matter how long he's been in jail, he, they, they would have done courses, X, Y, Z. Somebody mentioned the SOTP. They have a VOTP course as well for violent offenders, but it doesn't stop them being violent. This, 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 it's a thing that's within them. So my massive view is that, no, he should not of be the, Of the people who you know who've been released from jail, give us a mm-hmm. sort of ballpark figure of, of the percentage of them who re-offend. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to lie and say I know the percentage of re-offenders. I really don't. I've been out, I've been out of prison service now about over 10 years. All right. But I do sort of keep abreast of what's going on. And the re-offending rate of a lot of prisoners is quite high. Is it? Of many different, you know, um, crimes. But certainly sexual offences like this, which is, like you said, it's the extreme. This guy will never be safe you, around others. Do you have a daughter, Peter? Uh, no, I don't. All right. No, I don't. And if you did, no. would you be happy for her to live within 10 miles Not of this all. guy? Not at all, no. I wouldn't want him anywhere near. Anywhere near. They, they'll always find a way. You know, when they're inside, they, they're, they're put on wings with other prisoners of the same nature and the same crime. Mm. You know, and they talk and they mix, etc. And it's, it's, it's like any... Um, even on the, the, the main part of the prison, it's, it's a crime factory. You know, they, these guys just come out, a lot of them come out better prisoners, or better criminals. Do they? They make more connections, etc. So, no, I wouldn't be happy with that at all. All right. And just, again, as a character reference, the parole board have obviously felt, you know, he's well-behaved, he's civilised, he's done what he's told, he's done courses. But even that, you wouldn't say necessarily means he's safe. No. No, no, no. These guys... There are a lot of guys in there, and I did meet quite, you know, quite a few over twelve years. that do the courses, and they want to, they want to sort of make a better life for themselves. But there's a certain element of crime that is, um, it's just within them. It will never go. They'll, they'll, and a lot of them, you know, there's the guys that do, the, they do the courses to tick the boxes to get them to the open jails where they can get out and they can do what they want to do. You know, he, he said he was spotted somewhere, so he's done what he needs to do, and now he's allowed to walk around a community. Uh, possibly with a job or possibly with, you know, some kind of thing outside in the community. And it, it's just not right. You so know? you don't think that even though he's in an open prison and under licence, he's been allowed out for for a day, presumably under under caution, under security, you still think that it's not safe? No, of course it's not. It's still out, isn't it? It's still out in the community on his own. So therefore, what's the difference of being one day or 10 days or 100 days? It's, it's, he's still out in the community, isn't he? On his own, unsupervised. Yeah. That's still the same criminal. It's still the same person, no matter how many days or how long but he's you, out but, there. But would you say, in your experience, there are people who can change? There's an element of people who want to change, but there's a certain, for me personally, in my experience and, and the people that I met, there's a level of sexual violence and sexual crime that cannot be cured, and they know, they know that themselves. And is so he one the of them? Yeah, without question. I mean, look what he's done. Look at his crimes. They're horrendous. But there are people who... You know, without sounding disrespectful, I don't mean it to be, but there's a lesser lesser level of, of crime like that that think, right, they know there's something wrong with them and they want help. 
but they'll never be cured. It's not something you can just say, right, well, I'll just turn that off now and I won't do that anymore. But his level of crime, I think, is of the utmost and shouldn't be. So someone like you, you could never be his friend? Absolutely not.